Hey you guys, this is Ayla from Aylamation, and today I'm going to show you how to animate a character picking up an object and putting it back down. Uh, so here's my guy character, um, my little kid character. I rigged him in um, Advanced Skeleton, so he's got an IKFK blend so I'm going to switch to IK if you click the little plus sign on each shoulder and then go from 0 to 10 you'll get these hand controllers that are gonna work for us today although I think you can do it both ways but this is the way I'm going to to do it today so um, we'll just get that hand into position um, on the box now I'm going to um, just do the essentials. So if I were animating this, I'd probably take some time and finesse it a bit and um, just make it better. But for this, I'm just going to show him lifting it up and putting it down. And um, that should be that should be good enough, I think. This is just the elbow controller. Okay. Mm. I don't want some bend in his elbow, just, yeah, okay. From the front, it'll look fine, so there we go. Let's get it just a little bit closer. Okay, so um, right now, obviously, the box is not attached, but to attach it, we need to select the thing that it'll be constrained to, which is the hand controller, and then shift-click the box itself. Then in the animation menu, you will go to constrain and then parent. Um, I clicked the option box, uh, that little square next to it, and uh, my options are good, but if you don't have maintain offset selected, you might want to click that. Um, it's all good here. So now I'm going to set a keyframe still with both selected and um, just checking that they both have the keyframe, they do. And now with that, so with the keyframe on the box itself, you're going to get this, a blend parent one option. That only happens when you set a keyframe on the object that is constrained. So if you don't have that, that's probably the problem um, that you're facing. So now that that has been created, if I move the hand controller, it is no longer attached. And the reason for that is because it's only attached when this number is one. So I'm going to switch it to one and then I'm going to move forward just one keyframe and switch it back to zero. So he won't be holding it before that keyframe. And if I uh, go to the beginning here and move his hand back, he's no longer holding it. And then if I move forward in the timeline, at this point he will be constrained to it. So Say I move his hand up, the box will move with it. And then if I move it down, down goes the box. And now I want to um, set a keyframe for the box. And I'm going to set one. one second later. I'm also going to set a keyframe one second later for the hand so that they're in the same spot here. Um, and that's perfectly still. Now if I go to the box, when we are at 71, so when we're at that last keyframe, I'm going to switch the blend parent to zero again. And then I'm gonna move down. I'm just gonna actually check this. Yep, okay, now I'm gonna go down the timeline a bit, move the hand back. He's letting go, and there you have it. He picks up the box, puts it down, and then let's go. Um, and it's, uh, it's very rough, but it uh, gets to the point. So I hope that helped you guys. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, and um, I hope to make another video really soon. Thanks.